So let's talk about what you were saying to the institutions when you raised that money. What were they buying into? Sure. Um, so we let everybody know that there was a, a, a very substantial difference uh, in terms of how we were mining this deposit versus what was modeled uh, before uh, with respect to, to the resource. Uh, so I think everybody was going to anticipate uh, some of the changes. Now, a few things, the, the net effect of that was, is that there was a material increase uh, in the grade of the deposit. Um, and and we'll, we'll go over some of the, the mining techniques as to, as to why that's the case. But really, everybody was buying into the fact that this is just going to be a bootstrapped approach to get a mine up and running. It'll be the highest grade open pit only mine in the world. The cash flow that will be generated from that will go and delineate a second deposit called Las Conchitas as well as exploring for any realistic target that we have on the rest of the 188 square uh, kilometer land package that we that we own right now. Right. Okay. So you, the 2015 PA was, I think, to use, use your own phrase, was perhaps a, a stretch, over optimistic. Yeah. You know what? I was I was actually more critical about P and E um, coming into the the original investments uh, that uh, the predecessor company made in 2014 mm -hmm. that I am now. Right, so I think it's very clear that there was no funny business that was going on with uh, with, with P and E and, and how they. they I think you said gen they were generous in their extrapolations. Correct. Yeah. So let's 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 break apart the geology in terms of what's real, what was being modeled before, and then some of the the, the, the choices that were being made in 2012, 2015, 2019, and 2020. Right. So, so. The, the reality of our deposit. Let's start with, with real and then we'll, we'll go to, uh, to, to modeling. We have a series of very high grade, but very narrow veins that have a shallow dip across our, our property. And that's on San Albino. We have three primary veins there. There's probably another two kind of scraggly little veins, but uh, they all basically are very high grade and very narrow. By very high grade, I mean well in excess of a half ounce material. My very narrow, they tend to average somewhere between one and a quarter and one and a half meters wide. Now, on top of that, there is a geochemically distinct hanging wall and foot wall that generally is grading about a quarter gram, so sub-economic uh, material. But it, it's very clear that there's a difference between the hanging wall and foot wall and the country rock of this deposit. On occasion, you're going to find little little stragglers uh, that will spike the grade locally in these hanging walls and foot walls that will make individual areas uh, economic. But by and large, you have a narrow vein and a wider zone. Now, back in the 2012 and, and updated 2015 resource, everything was being modeled as a, a single unit. So forget about any fancy uh, geostatistics, which we'll, we'll go into in, in a second, just arithmetically that has the function of overstating the tons of the deposit and understating the grade, right? The way that we are modeling this right now is how we are mining it. And the way that I like to describe it uh, through an analog is basically peeling off layers of a layer cake, exposing the frosting, mining all of the frosting and trying to take as little cake as possible, basically going after the high grade vein. So what we did internally in 2019 and handed it off to, uh, to Mr. Ristricelli from MDA, uh, Mine Development Associates, uh, in the early part of this year, and then finally the resource came out, was modeling it on that. We're modeling the high-grade veins and applying a reasonable and conservative mining dilution factor around either side of about a half meter. And we're mining right now tighter than half meter tolerances. So by definition, the grade of the deposit needed to go up. Now... Your, the adjective that we use in the press release called uh, generous uh, in terms of what p and &E was doing. It's very clear that the resource and the domains that were drilled out were representative of where the drill holes were. So they, they weren't really making up anything, right? So this was this, this had data that, uh, that went into the, the, the resource model. However, when you were talking about the full thickness of that domain, so the, the high grade vein, the, the hanging wall and foot wall. Yes, they were being a little bit generous on the size and thickness of that area, but more importantly, and this is where the, the fancy geo statistics come in, by not constraining that high grade from that narrow vein into the full domain, it was clear that they were overestimating the amount of gold within that larger domain as well. Now, on top of that, we took a very, very big pullback 
on where the data was permitting us to look for ounces that we can say are eventually going to turn into mineable ounces, whether it's going to be reserves or things that are going to be directly into a mine plant. The only area that we focused on San Albino was effectively the first 120 meters from surface. So any underground drilling, any deep drilling that was done prior to 2019, we took a much more conservative view on how, how those blocks held together, such that there really aren't any material inferred ounces within the underground category. You basically just eliminated everything and then only took what we could say is part of a real underground mine plan. And th those are really the, the differences between the, the models themselves. So I, I, do, I do think that the P&E were, were doing things appropriate when it, when it came to, to 43101 compliance, but it was clear that they were being generous on how they were modeling these things. And by not modeling it in the way that we're mining it, or even in the way that the geology lies, you're going to wind up uh, causing an overestimation of the the ounces within the deposit. Okay, th th thanks for that. St uh, Steve Rester Sally or Shelley is he a mining so. mining engineer or is he a geologist? Geologist. Geologist. So don't mining engineers normally um, determine what can be mined? Oh, sure. First of all, it's, it's a team of MDA, uh, right? So right. there's uh, there's a full team. See, he's one of the competent mining, persons. Mining and he's, he was the guy running the show, so that his name is uh, has the big signature, as, as well as mine for that matter, uh, on this report.